function as a neutral platform for various stakeholders to meet, to discuss policy questions and issues of public interest. To this end, we hold various events like uh, our flagship conference, Simple Perspectives, the last one was on income inequality. Um, we hold our biannual uh, Singapore Economic Forum and various other conferences and symposiums. The second function is to do research and contribute to discussion on contemporary or current policy conundrums. To this end, we do various things like, you know, hold closed down discussions on various issues of immediate concern. Uh, our researchers do work on current issues like, you know, immigration and integration or the problems of an aging society or how one deals with a declining birth rate and so on. And the third role, which I think is perhaps the most important, is to look at policy questions that may be of concern, not now, but five years from now, 10 years from now, perhaps 15, 20 years from now. Now, to this end, we are doing two major projects uh, right now. One is the project that we are calling IPS PRISM. This is to look at how Singapore might govern itself in 2022. This is a vast scenario planning exercise which are usually undertaken by large organizations like governments or corporations. And for the first time ever, we are doing this outside uh, uh, those usual uh, institutional frameworks. Now, the results of the scenario planning exercise will then be exhibited in a public exhibition uh, sometime in November, from which we will fee we'll gather feedback from, from people who, who come to the exhibition. Um, all this will then feed into our Singapore Perspectives Conference next year, um, which will be on the theme of governance. Now, the other project um, is a follow-up on our population projections that uh, we did in last year. CS projections will look at not only uh, resident, uh, resident population, but also non-resident population, which means foreigners who are on work pass, employment pass, etc. Uh, we will look at the projections um, uh, up to 50 years ahead, up to 2050, which is 40 years from now. Um, and that's just the first part of the project. The second part of the project would be to look at the consequences of the various projects, uh, for, of the various projections, the consequences of the various projections. When IPS was first incorporated in 1987, December 1987, the internet did not exist. Um, 25 years later, the internet is very much a part of our lives and it probably will be increasingly the main platform um, where people meet to exchange ideas, to discuss, to argue, to debate. And so this website is a reflection of the reality that we live in. Right? Um, if we are to be a neutral platform for various people to engage on policy questions, there is no alternative but to be a presence on the web. I think what, you, what, what I think we should do is expand the space for the rational on the net. This doesn't mean that we have to have pro-government or pro-establishment voices. I don't think that is the chief criteria by which we have to operate or we should operate. The chief distinction we have to aim for is the rational versus the non-rational. We hope to feature ideas and views not only from our own researchers, but also from guest columnists and other writers and commentators from all fields. We welcome anyone with a rational view, a productive um, uh, uh, view, and who can contribute uh, to the discussion.